Hello everyone. Information Box Ticket Lifestyles brings you today biotechnology topic on animal biotechnology. But before starting this video, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon button so you don't miss any of my videos. Let's begin with the table of content. First, we will have a brief introduction about animal biotechnology. Then we will learn about assisted reproductive technology. And at the end, we will learn about transgenic technologies in animals for food and other products. Let's begin with the introduction of animal biotechnology. Animal biotechnology is a branch of biotechnology in which molecular biology techniques are used to genetically engineer animals in order to improve their suitability for pharmaceutical, agricultural, or industrial applications. Animal biotechnology has been used to produce genetically modified animals that synthesize therapeutic proteins, have improved growth rates, or are resistant to disease. The practice of animal biotechnology began more than 8,000 years ago when humans began domesticating and selectively breeding animals. The modern era of animal biotechnology arrived following the discovery of genetic code in the 1950s. Today, New tools including increased computing power, genome sequencing, cloning, regenerative medicine, and direct gene insertion and manipulation have given people the potential to drastically alter animals for a broad range of purposes including food production, medical, and scientific research. These advances as well as US Supreme Court ruling that designed life could be patented have spawned new ways of expanding the use of animals in serving society. If this lecture is informative to you, don't forget to subscribe. Next is Assisted Reproductive Technology. Since animals were first domesticated, many technologies have been developed to select for desirable qualities making breeding easier and make animals produce more offspring. The technologies used include artificial insemination, in vitro fertilization IVF, embryo flushing and lastly cloning. Many of these technologies involve the manipulation of animal reproduction. Let's begin with the first artificial insemination. This refers to the introduction of semen and viable sperm into the female reproductive tract via artificial means. Lazaro Spallanzani, a French physiologist, was the first person to successfully demonstrate artificial insemination in dog in 1784. Artificial insemination is widely practiced today. Approximately 60% of dairy cows in the US are bred by artificial insemination. The greatest advantage conferred by artificial insemination is the ability to quickly pass desirable traits to many offspring. Artificial insemination is also extremely cost efficient as sperms can be collected and shipped all across the world. This reduces the need for many breeding grounds to house and maintain male animals. Next is in vitro fertilization. IVF refers to the fertilization of an ovum by a spermatozoan outside of the body. The first attempt at animal IVF began in the early 1930s on rabbit oocytes and spermatozoa but were unsuccessful. However, it was approximately 20 years later when the first successful mammalian IVF was performed using spermatozoa capacitated in vitro. Today. IVF is still being heavily researched. Commercially, the bovine industry has been seeing the greatest impact from IVF. Hundreds and thousands of bovine embryos created with the help of IVF are sold and exchanged worldwide each year. This is a much more cost-efficient and biosecure method compared to transporting live animals. Number 3. Embryo Flushing Instead of fertilizing oocytes and culturing the embryos in vitro, as in IVF, embryos are often produced in vivo and then fleshed out of the uterus. In fact, embryo flushing is much more prevalent and cost-efficient than IVF for the production of embryos. 
although the first successful embryo flush and transfer was performed in rabbits in 1890. The procedure is primarily done with cattle today. Number 4. Cloning An animal clone is broadly defined as an animal that originates from another animal and both animals share identical chromosomal DNA. Hans Dirich created the first animal clones in the late 18th. He created sea urchin clones by splitting a two-cell embryo and allowed it both cells to independently develop into sea urchins. However, in 1996, the largest breakthrough in animal cloning came in the form of a sheep named Dolly. Dolly became the first animal to be cloned using the nucleus of a differentiated adult cell as a donor. Cloning is also known as somatic cell nuclear transfer the technical process by which cloning is performed. Since that time, the discussion has turned towards the possibility of cloning human beings either for research, therapeutic or reproductive purposes and even as a potential means for organ farming. Ethical issues specific to human cloning include the safety and efficacy of the procedure, cloning for destructive embryonic stem cell research and the effects of reproductive cloning on child-parent relationship. Some scientists are investigating the use of cloning technology as an option to save endangered species and even resurrect extinct ones. Russian and South Korean scientists have been working together to try Russian and South Korean scientists have been working together to try to clone a Wally Mayan moth using cells recovered from 10,000 years old frozen remains of a baby Wally man moth. Brazilian scientists also claim to clone endangered animals. A project designed by scientists from the Agricultural Research Agency, Embrapa, together with the Brasilia Zoological Garden, will attempt to clone and hybridize jaguar and eaters, wolves, and other endangered species. If you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Let's learn about the transgenic technologies in animals for food and other products. Farmers have been using selective breeding to increase desirable trades in agriculture animals since the dawn of domestication. However, the increased production potential possible from traditional selective breeding practices is limited. Advances in molecular biology have made it possible to develop traits in animals quicker and with more precision, allowing farmers an alternative means to increase yield, improve the nutritional value of food products, make animals resistant to diseases, and produce human pharmaceutical in the milk of transgenic cows, goats, or rabbits. The first product we have, Aqua Advantages of Salmon. Echo advantages, salmon are in line to become the first genetically engineered non-plant food source approved for human consumption by the US FDA. This accomplishment is in the culmination of more than 20 years of work which began in the 1980s when Dr. Chui Li Hu, who studied an anti freeze protein that allows fish to survive sub-zero temperatures, was chatting with his colleague Dr. Craig Fletcher. They genetically engineered the salmon by attaching the antifreeze protein promoter to the growth hormone gene, causing growth hormone to be produced during the winter months, allowing the salmon to grow year-round. These fish outgrow any wild or farm-raised salmon and can grow from the egg stage to market weight in 16 to 18 months as opposed to 3 years for traditional salmon. Next product we have Glowfish, GM pets that brighten homes and hearts. The Glowfish, a fluorescent red zebra fish has become the first transgenic animal commercially available in US and a popular aquarium item. The Glowfish is available in five fluorescent colors with the exciting names. Starfire reds, electric green, sunburst oranges, cosmic blues and eclectic purples. The original zebrafish Daniel Radio from which the glowfish was developed is native to India and Bangladesh. The fluorescent zebrafish was primarily developed with the aim to detect 
pollution by selectively fluoride staining when in the presence of an environmental pollutant or toxin. This first fluorescent fish was created in 1999 by Dr. Zio Gan and his team at the National University of Singapore. They inserted green fluorescent protein DFP gene into the zebra fish genome, allowing the fish to be fluorescent under natural white light and ultraviolet light. Number 3. Less Allergenic Milk a team of scientists at AG Research and the University of Waikato in New Zealand has successfully produced a transgenic cow lacking B lactoglobinyl BLG. This way, protein is believed to be the main cause of milk allergies in humans, and knocking out this gene could allow for the production of hypoallergenic dairy products. The researcher uses the miRNA technology to silence the expression of BLG in the milk, making it potentially less allergenic. In addition, high casein levels were reported in BLG-deficient milk. Casein makes up to 80% of the milk protein in conventional cows and is an extremely valuable component of milk because of its nutritional value and processing properties. The increased casein levels associated with this BLG knockout cow could provide increased calcium levels and higher cheese yields. In addition to another group in New Zealand had produced transgenic cows containing additional beta and kappa casein genes. These cows have been shown to produce milk with a two-fold increase in kappa casein and up to 20% decrease in beta casein levels. The increase in the kappa casein has been associated with improved heat stability and cheese making properties, whereas an increased beta casein has been associated with increased milk calcium levels. Number 4. Increased Wool Growth in Transgenic Sheep Increased wool growth in transgenic sheep has been achieved in New Zealand by introducing an insulin like growth factor 1 gene associated with carotene promoter. The carotene promoter allows production of the trans gene in the skin and results in an increase in the production of clean fields weight to in conventional sheep. Although no health issues were observed in the transgenic sheep, the staple strength of the wool produced by the male transgenic sheep was lower than that of a female transgenic and non-transgenic animals. If this lecture is benefiting you in any way, don't forget to subscribe. Number 5 silk in milk. Transgenic goats are also being produced for dragline silk in their milk. Dragline silk is made by orb spiders and is the strongest known material by weight. Because of its strength as well as its laxity, there is much interest in large-scale production of dragline silk for use in military uniforms, medical sutures and tennis racket strings. After failing to produce the material in bacteria and mammalian cell culture, Scientists in Canada have successfully inserted the silk spider genes into the goat embryos. When the transgenic goats mature, the spider genes were expressed in their mammary glands, which began to secrete tiny strains of spider silk in their milk. Once protocols are placed in for the purification and spinning, the resulting thread could be used for a number of commercial as well as medical applications. Number six. Biofarming Transgenic Animal Advances in Medicines and Research Transgenic animals not only have potential to improve agriculture but could also lead to significant breakthroughs in biomedical research. For decades, proteins such as insulin and human growth hormone have been produced in bacteria and yeast cultures. However, proteins such as blood clotting factors and monoclonal antibodies require complex folding patterns and additional sugar molecules to become biologically active. These sophisticated modifications require the proteins be produced in mammalian cells. Some examples of transgenic animal systems that are currently being researched include milk, blood, and egg whites. Transgenic animals in biomedical research can aid in the production and subsequent collection of insulin growth hormone blood anti-clotting factors and other biological products in the milk of cows, sheep and goats. Dairy cows, for example, have a yearly milk output of approximately 10,000 liters, making it possible for a single lactating cow to produce 10 of kilos of therapeutic proteins. 
relatively small herds of few hundred lactating transgenic cows or goats can produce several hundred kilograms of purified protein per year. It has been estimated that only 60 transgenic pigs could be needed to supply the entire factor IX protein required in the US. This factor is referred to as biofarming and is gaining monument as potential route for the production of products for medical use. The first therapeutic protein produced in the milk of transgenic animals for human use was antithrobin, an anticoagulant protein that can treat patients with a congenital deficiency. In addition, the production of transgenic pigs whose milk contains human factor 8 and 9, hemoglobin, human protein C, human granulocyte, phagocyte, clonic stimulating factor, etc. are being researched. In addition, cows have been produced as secretes human lactoferrin, a glycoprotein involved in innate host defense in their milk. Because of lactoferrin's antibacterial, antifungal, anti endotoxin and antiviral activities, a number of medical uses for this glycoprotein have been considered, such as the treatment of infectious or inflammatory diseases. Number 7. Human Disease Models An area of biomedical research that has huge potential for transgenic animals is used for human disease models. Although mice have traditionally been used as model for human diseases, many of the breakthroughs in mice have not translated to humans. Because of the similar size and physiology of pigs with humans, there have been increasing interest in using pigs as human disease models. Conventional pigs are already used to study cardiovascular disease, atherosclerosis, cutaneous pharmacology, wound repair, cancer, diabetes, and ophthalmology. Using transgenic technology, pig models are currently being produced for Alzheimer's disease, cystic fibrosis, retinitis, pigmentosa, diabetes, and organ failure. Once these animal models have been characterized, new drugs and therapies can be tested before clinical trials. Number 8. Xenotransplantation Xenotransplantation is the transplantation of living cells, tissues, or organs from one species to another. It is estimated that 45,000 people could benefit from a heart transplant each year in America after only approximately 2,000 human hearts are available. To close this gap, researchers have begun to study xenografts, the transplanting of organs and tissues from animals to humans. Although non-human primates such as chimpanzees are genetically closest to humans, reducing the chances of craft rejection, primates are endangered in the wild and their use as a source of replacement organs raises ethical concerns. As an alternative, some have proposed using pigs as a source of organs because they have large litters, a short gestation time, are anatomically and physiologically similar to humans, and are currently being used to provide some placement tissues such as hard valves. Number 9. Transgenic animals with increased disease resistance. The ability to enhance disease resistance in animals holds enormous potential for the continuing field of animal biotechnology. Currently, numerous studies are being performed to induce disease resistance in a variety of animals. Some of the diseases being studied include mad cow disease, foot and mouth disease, porcine reproductive and respiratory syndrome, and avian influenza viruses. Number 10. Antimicrobials Transgenic goats have been produced that make milk with some concentration of lysozyme, the natural antimicrobial agent. This milk helped to protect animal models against Escherichia coli and improve gastrointestinal health. Transgenic cattle have also been produced that make human lysozyme in their milk. Similarly, antimicrobial peptides such as Scacropin B from the giant silk moth has many antimicrobial effects against gram-negative bacteria. The gene encoding for Cacropin B is transfected into catfish and the Asian Medaka fish. Both transgenic fish breeds shows increased bacterial resistance to numerous pathogens. So that's it for today. Don't forget to follow my social media handles. And thank you for watching till the end.